Hi, I'm Lisa from Lori's Country Cottage and welcome to How Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make tea towel toppers from June Taylor. Here's everything you get in your hanging towel kit. You get full instructions, the foundation, and a really nice waffle towel. Make sure you pre-wash and dry that towel so that you shrink it. You'll need some other supplies as well. You can see my Coca-Cola towel is made out of cotton and I use two different fabrics. You can choose three different fabrics if you like. They give you the fabric requirements for three fabrics, but do what you like. This towel, I'm gonna to make out of cork fabric and see how it works out. You'll also need a disappearing marking pen. I use a friction felt pen thread to match your towel, and thread to match your fabric, as well as a closure. I chose a button with a buttonhole. You could do a snap, even Velcro if you like, and of course, your towel. You'll also need pins if you're using cotton. Because I'm using cork, I also used Wonder Kip clips and my sew tights. Cutting instructions are pretty straightforward and you only need five pieces, two toppers, two trim A's that attach to the topper, and one trim B for the towel. Don't cut that trim B yet. When I made my first towel, my trim B was the right size. When I made my second towel, it was a little bit small. I got a bigger towel. So don't cut that till you're at that stage. Step one is attaching trim A to your topper. Simply fold the pieces wrong sides together, pin, or in my case, wonder clip them, to your toppers and stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. I pressed my seam allowance towards the topper and then I added a row of stitching. The cork is a little bit thicker so it stitched down my seam allowance. The next step is to cut along the bottom edge of the batting on the printed line. Lay your topper pieces right sides together and then lay the batting on top. Lining it, lining it up with your stitching line. You can see I can't use pins, so I have my sew tights holding my layers together. Take your disappearing pen and extend the lines from the batting right through the trim A so that you have a line to sew on. This is what it looks like when your lines are drawn. Now go to your machine using a regular stitch length Stitch all the way around the topper on the lines. Here it is, all stitched. Now trim to a quarter inch seam allowance. Use your rotary cutter when you can, and then your scissors at those corners. Trim the points, and don't forget to clip those inside corners. Now turn it right side out. My stitchy sticks were invaluable for that step. The beveled ball was great for smoothing out my side seams on my thicker fabric. And of course, the slanted edge point was great for poking out my points. The next step is to hem your towel if it isn't already hemmed. My first towel was hemmed already. This one wasn't, so I used my hot hemmer to make a half inch hem on my towel. Use a nice, narrow guide when you're stitching your hem. Next up is that trim piece. Measure in a half inch from each side and then fold it to the middle. If your towel is already hemmed on the side edges, you need to hem the edge of your trim. My towels were unhemmed for both of my towels. So I left my trim B about a half inch longer than my towel on both sides. There's my trim B laid on my towel. They give you the measurements of where to put it. See how my cork extends along past the edge of my towel. I'm gonna fix that later. And there are my sew tights holding it on. Now, Ed stitch that trim B right to your towel. Now it's time to trim your towel. This towel was much bigger than my first towel. I had lots of room 
to trim and make a nice edge on the towel. Make sure you do both sides. Once you have it trimmed, it's time to hem both sides. I did a little bit smaller than a half inch on the side hems. Now we need to create the pleats at the top of the towel. I found the center of my towel and used my friction marker to make a mark. And then I measured an inch and a half to each side so that my center fold is three inches. We're gonna need wonder clips or pins to hold our pleats. Keep working your pleats till you like how it looks and it's the correct size to insert into your towel topper. Don't worry, the instructions tell you how big to make it. Once you've got it the right size and you like your pleats, take it to your machine and baste them down so you can take out your pins or wonder clips. Now take your towel and insert it into your topper. It goes in as far as you like. Make sure it's nice and snug where the topper meets the towel. It should insert about an inch. Now top stitch to hold the towel in. I actually did two rows of stitching. I thought it looked nice. Now it's time to decide on a closure. I chose a buttonhole and a button, but you can use a snap or even Velcro if you like. Make sure you look at the oven or fridge handle that you're going to use and that you have enough room to fit it inside. There are my two finished towels. You can see how different the sizes are. Go ahead and trim the towel however you like it. The Coca-Cola one is really long. I probably should have made it a little shorter. I love how my cork fabric worked for my hanging towel kit. I love cork. And here are the two towels hanging on the handle of my oven. You can see on the cork one, I'm going to need to move my button. I didn't leave the hanging space big enough. Thanks for joining me for How Tuesday. I hope you'll try making some tea towel toppers. Great gifts, a great way to personalize a gift for someone you love.